Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. I'd like to offer you some foreign exchange charts and the first one I'd like to look at is the Euro against the dollar. Now, If we look at this chart we can see a bearish harami yesterday countering the previous session's bullish engulfing pattern and possible hammer combination. The market has once again had its main body bracketed by the overhead short moving average currently at 121.07 and below by the medium moving average, currently 1.2040, both gently rising. Overall, we're in the same place as we were on Monday, despite some of the noise that we've seen. So far today, nothing much. Sitting just above the gently rising medium moving average once again, I'm still thinking whether I should draw a bearish Andrews or shift pitchfork for 2021 action so far. I'm not sure which or whether I should even do it in the first place. The next chart to look at is cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A higher though still indecisive doji cross yesterday, in part a follow on to the previous session's bullish engulfing pattern. It was a perfect example where the market has gotten itself caught in between the rising combination of the short moving average currently at 139.43 and the more important middle time currently 139.26 of the late June to late September 2020 bullish shift pitch -up. They are below whilst overhead we have a congestion at 140 even. Not that hard, but still there. As I said yesterday, this area is going to diminish pretty rapidly, so look for a break out of it soon. So far today, nothing much, just a dip to the middle time before a pullback to unchanged. The next chart to look at is Euro against Sterling. A really interesting response yesterday to the previous session's combined possible second indecisive spinning top and also bullish double. A combined immediate countering key reversal down and bearish engulfing pattern just in both cases. Overall and somewhat unsurprisingly the market was once again bracketed by the overhead April 2020 low at 86.69 and the next support below at 86.17. We also still have below target X2 for the head and shoulders top in the 85.15 area and target X1 the target for the recent sideways triangle. Let's wait and see on those. So far today, nothing much. We are still in the bracket. The next chart to look at is US dollar against the Indian rupee. A third bearish black crow yesterday, the market initially gapped lower, which was then filled in, before moving further down through the important short stroke medium moving average, currently at 73.47, and stretching below the short moving average, currently at 72.81, though not closing below the latter. The market balked at testing the interesting 50% Fibonacci line of the July 2019 to April 2020 move at 72.64 before closing just under the top of last week's gap below, which it had also filled. And that's between 72.76 and 72.93. Quite an achievement. The 50% Fibonacci line below, as well as congestion at 72.41 and last week's lows at 72.26 are the next key levels to look for. I've drawn a bearish Andrews picture for the early November 2020 to late January 2021 action. We'll see how this one gets on. So far today, a further move lower, testing the 50 cent Fibonacci line but seemingly not liking it below there. The top side has been capped, unsurprisingly, by the declining short medium moving average. The last chart to look at is US dollar against the Brazilian real. You've got to love it when a plan comes together, gets justified and then carries on back towards where it started. A very large combined key reversal down and bearish engulfing pattern yesterday at the top of the recent market. However, that was not the most important thing. Instead, it was the market reaching up and touching target X, the target for the 2021 bullish ascending triangle at 576.60 before then dropping like a stone to finish just over some congestion of 560 even area. If I were to say that I had a great deal of satisfaction in seeing yesterday's action, well I wouldn't be lying. We now have to see what is next. That about wraps it up, so in the meantime, stay safe, good trading in the markets and also in real life.